Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about the Google Analytics Lite widget. It's a very simple but pretty powerful widget for tracking statistics about your website visitors. It's a pretty easy widget to install and it will help you a lot in learning more about your website visitors and their behavior. So let's see the widget options. You basically only have one option and that's to paste in your property ID. And to get this ID, all you need to do is to register a Google Analytics account, which you can do with your regular Google account or you can create a new Google account. I will quickly guide you how to do this and how to start tracking your website visitors. So let's head to Google. Just type in Google Analytics and click on this link. Under the sign in options, you click on analytics. Now, since I don't already have a Google Analytics account, it will give me an option to sign up. And keep in mind, I'm already logged in with my Gmail account. So I suggest you do the same. Click sign up. And there's a pretty simple questionnaire that you need to fill out before you get your tracking ID for your property or for your website. Now, let me just go over the basics. First you have the account name and basically what it means it says here accounts are the top most level of organization and contain one or more tracking IDs. What this means is that you can create one account for Google Analytics and have multiple websites tracked on it. And you can also have multiple accounts, which is great if you have multiple websites that you want to track under same company name, or if you have a web design agency and you want to handle accounts for multiple clients, you could put in an account name that's the same as your web design agency, and then you would add properties. And that's the second step. The properties are actually the websites and you should match these to the actual websites you will be tracking. So I'm going to enter a demo company name for this tutorial and I will use the demo website that I've previously created. So under the account name, let's type the demo company name. Now I'm creating a property under this account and I will call it analytics test. You can put any name you like here. This is how you will recognize your website when you are on the Google Analytics panel. And under website URL, you paste in the actual URL of your website. So I'm going to copy my URL and I'm going to paste it in. Next, you can further customize these options according to your liking. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let's keep this as it is and move on. You click on get tracking ID. If you haven't already accepted the terms and conditions, you click I accept. You will end up on the Google Analytics welcome panel and what you need is this tracking ID number. So this is the piece of code we use to connect our website to the just created property on Google Analytics. Now I can go back into Muse and open my widget settings and just paste in the code and press enter. Now I have successfully installed Google Analytics on my website and that's how easy it is. So let's check it out and see if it works. I will now publish this website as HTML and put it on my hosting. Then I'm going to visit my website. And while I'm visiting my website, I will log into Google Analytics and see if I can see myself visiting my website. The updated site is now live. I'm going to reload this tab and now I'm going back to Google Analytics and on the analytics panel. Let's expand this menu. Now, if I click on audience and overview here, I can see the statistics for my website. But but since I just created my property, there are no statistics yet to show. But what I can do is click on real time and then click on overview. And as you can see, I currently have one visitor and that's me. So this means I've successfully installed Google Analytics. This is a very powerful analysis tool for your websites where you can track where what visitors do, which pages they visit and a lot more. So have fun.